So hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something really creepy. So basically I'm going to be reacting to 911 calls. Now let me just say, this video is not mine. I got it off the internet. So if anybody watches this and wants to copyright me, please don't. I am just reacting to it because I like saw it pop up and I was like, this would be really interesting to react to. So yeah. Let's get started. I'm basically going to be watching it on my iPad. Here, I downloaded it. And it's a nine minute video, so here we go. The following audio recordings are extremely disturbing. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Now we're one, where is your emergency? I'm already creeped out. In this call, an old woman living on her own named Ruth dials 911 to report a suspicious man standing outside her door. What's the problem, Fuck. Man? Oh, there's some guy been uh, checking the place out. I see if I was me, see if I was a guy, well, like, checking the, the place out, I'd fucking run. He said he was looking for a guy, and he comes to my door, and... Oh my god. And, uh... That he's, uh, looking for an I'm actually like my I'm heart's going to think her already. And I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's, she's an old lady. lady. I don't have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> In this call, a woman <sighs> screaming in terror calls 911, closely reporting the details of her chimpanzee's crazed attack on one of her friends, which is happening right next to her. Throughout the duration of the clip, you can hear muffled screams of both the oh, chimp goodness, and the victim in their devastating struggle. Oh my god. Send the police! What's hey. the problem there? The, the chip killed my, my friend! What's oh my the god. What's with your friend? Oh, please! What's the problem with your friend? I need to know. Send the police up! With a gun! With a gun! Hurry up! Off the gun. Wait, hurry up! He's killing my girlfriend! Oh my. What is the problem? He's killing Her girlfriend? My Who's killing your friend? My chimpanzee! Oh, your chimpanzee is killing your friend. Yes. He ripped your oh my out. god. Oh my god. There's someone on the way. Well, God, please, you showed him. What is the monkey doing? Tell me Holy what's shit. He ripped your face off. This is actually what the fuck? If the monkey moves away from your friend, let me know, okay? So we can try to help your friend. No, no, I can't. She's dead. She's dead. Why, oh why are you saying that she's dead? She's dead. He ripped her apart. He ripped what apart? Her face? Everything. He ripped her apart. I think I'm gonna say, I think I'm gonna say, 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 i am going to say i am going to say i in this call, Kevin Cosgrove, a business... Can I just say something, okay, right? Before we go on with this, um... I don't understand why a woman would have a chimpanzee in her house, like, I'm all for animals and everything, but I would never ever live with a big champion chimp chimpanzee i would never live with the chimpanzee like a massive one like you know there are going to be threats you know something is going to happen so why would you do that to yourself anyway oh no 9 11 jesus 
Executive in the insurance industry calls 911 from the 105th floor in the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001. Minutes before the first tower collapses, the urgency, combined with the heart-wrenching reality of him having to leave behind his beloved children, leave this to be one of the most shocking and heartbreaking calls in history. What's the telephone number waiting for us to pick up? What's the telephone number you're calling? The room C. You can do anything there, 4 a.m., 26, 23. So scary. 4 a.m., 26, 23. Can you imagine being trapped inside that building? Yeah, on 105th floor in the northwest corner, right? Right. Oh, my God. At number two, World Trade Center, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 Right.
In this call, serial killer Paul Michael Stefani, also known as the Weepy Voiced Killer, calls 911 following two of his victims' murders. The presence of regret in the man's voice, combined with the fact that he reports the exact execution oh God, of his killings, the make these calls crazy. outright horrifying. Fire emergency. Please don't talk to this person. I'm sorry, I killed, I killed. I stand this for oh you, God. Kimberly Compton was the first one. Oh, my sis. Oh, my. I don't know what you're mad at me. I'm sick. I'm going to kill myself, I think. Where are you? I'm just gonna, I, there's so many guys with a little kid on it to me. I killed both of them. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it to heaven. Calm down. Calm down. You find me, I just stab someone. Oh my god, he stabbed someone with an ice pick. Oh my god, stop killing somebody then. So that's the end of this video, guys. The only reason I find it so emotional, like I was crying over that, is because all these people did die or got arrested or. I don't even care about the rest of ones. I mean, see those people like that woman and all with her baby, that and that guy in that building. That is the saddest thing. Like, see to actually hear that phone call. It's just, it's so emotional. It's unreal. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hit that big thumbs up down there and hit the subscribe button. And join me next time for another video. Goodbye. Okay, so it's just about one TV program. This is what I've discovered there now. From 1 to 10, how observed are you? Observed. From 1 to 10, how obsessed are you? Um, with Big Brother, I am probably 8 out of 10. I am quite obsessed.